Freaking drowsy. I am so tired. I was gonna go to a workout class, but I was like, no, my body's not feeling it today. I was designing and working on the Nekohama website. We're creating a completely new website. I'm really getting into it because I really enjoy the creative process of it. But I've been staring at a screen for like 10 hours straight. And another mistake I made last night was sitting with my laptop in bed. And I feel when I do that, it's kind of a little bit harder to get to sleep or something. I don't know. <sighs> but yeah, I just woke up and I did a little meditation, which I am really proud of myself of doing that. I don't know, I struggle a lot from like stress and I used to struggle also with like anxiety and it's getting definitely much better because I'm trying to implement these little habits and meditation is obviously one of them and I have so much respect for people who can do a 20 minute meditation because I struggle with getting into it so much so I was like okay I'm just gonna start with like one minute two minutes and we're at five minutes right now which is good like if I can do five minutes consistently it's awesome I use an app called Aura and then I also have this little it's literally a vibrator type of thing. It's not meant for it, but you put it on your chest and I don't know, I always like hold a lot of like energy or like stress up here. So with the vibration, it just like feels it goes like throughout my whole body. And whenever my thoughts are just going somewhere else and I'm not focusing on the breath, you know, it's like vibrating and it brings me back to the meditation, which is really awesome. So I don't know, for a beginner like myself, it actually worked really well. But yeah, I am going to get ready in the house. Um, I'm gonna have a coffee with a friend earlier this morning and maybe just get my nails on and honestly just not look at a screen today. I think that's gonna be it. But yeah, let's go. kitchen has like two locations here i think two or three locations here in la everything quite a just does is just so good all her like items on the menu everything is like very clean it's like gluten free and it's just like such delicious health food so i ordered like japanese sweet potato soup the other last night it was really good i'm eating leftover almost like a battle warm 
It's so funny because a friend of mine always uh, told me like, oh yeah, I always when I look at your videos, you're so calming and like you seem so zen. And I thought it was really funny because like that's not really how I normally feel to be honest. And I have to say the last few weekends, I have been kind of staying at home and I have really, really enjoyed it because I have had the time to kind of I don't know, just to do the small little things, right? Like clean up a little, um, do the laundry, organize. Before I feel I was always like out and about and honestly, <laughs> makes me tired. People make me tired. No, I truly love being around people and I also get like energy of that and things like that. But I don't know, definitely feel also very content by just being home and like being with myself and just being with Katsu. He's currently not here by the way and I miss him so so much. He is in training because we're trying to get him like a, tr a service animal trained so he will be able to travel with us and also like help in emergency. Um, but yeah he's with a dog trainer right now and he came back last week and he was really really good so i'm so excited to see his progress in like two weeks it's honestly especially with a really big dog it is so much less stressful if i can just take him places if he's not constantly jumping and like pulling me <laughs> because he's really strong so it's just way less stress to like take him around everywhere and that's really what i want like i want to be able to go on a hike i want to be able to you know bring him to the beach without being worried that he just like runs off and I need to run after him and stuff. So yeah, that's really good. So I'm gonna organize a little and then uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. myself some lunch. It is a wrap, vegan cheese with avocado, spinach, scrambled eggs, and some suki. Yum! don't really do my hair makeup on a Sunday but I had to film a quick little video. I also need to go later to the um, a tailor because 
My best friend Daphne is going to get married in Italy this summer, which I'm so excited about. It's literally only the second wedding I've ever going or my second wedding ever. I don't know. I'm really excited and obviously Italy is going to be amazing. Daphne is just like one of my best friends and we live together in New York. I feel we kind of like in a way grew up a little together. It was this period of time from like 18 to like 20. Too. So it was a lot of partying, self-discovery, like adventures, modeling, all of that. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna show you completely, but there's this gorgeous dress in there. And I kind of need to tailor it a little bit because it's a little bit too big. And I wasn't able to come to the fitting in New York, so yeah. It is so weird to not have cats or Max home. I don't know. The house is so quiet right now. Um, I kind of like... Being alone sometimes, I feel because I started modeling on such a young age and I was always like traveling alone that I got like really used to it or something. And I always feel when I'm alone, I get way more creativity through my head or something because I don't know, it's weird. Even though I'm like an extroverted person, I feel when there are people around, I am constantly like bouncing off them. And when I'm alone, I just sit more in my thoughts. But sometimes also like obviously start overthinking like a little bit. I don't know, lately I've been like thinking about like happiness and time. I'm still super young, I am 27. But sometimes with our crazy lifestyles and like the amount of stuff we're doing and things like that, I just have a feeling like time flies by so fast it sometimes just scares me a little bit because i'm like am i you know am i enjoying life enough am i getting the most out of it um the time is going so fast did i spend enough time with my family did i you know uh spend enough time with my friends did i get my relationship attention i think also because like our work goes so fast and we're like really in it and especially like startup i don't know it's just like a weird thing where i sometimes start over thinking there it just like freak me out that i realize that it's june right now and i'm like holy we're half a year into 2020 that's crazy but because i'm like worried about that i am kind of writing down like the things that are really important to me and just making sure that I prioritize some time and like time yeah I guess just time for it <laughs> and I've been doing that like in the last month because I feel that's where I don't know I don't know why this like six month halfway in the year kind of got me a little but I don't know if you guys feel that too there's also the saying like oh times fly when you're having fun and I believe that, but I also don't want it to fly too fast because I want to feel present in every single moment I am, even though it's not possible. But yeah, I guess like finding a balance there has just been, has just been a thought of mine. You know, see, I don't need to talk to my therapist. I just need to talk to you guys. <laughs> Sometimes it's amazing to just talk to a camera who just doesn't talk back. You guys just get me, you know? Alrighty, I'm gonna walk down. Ooh. It's not safe what I'm doing right now. It's just I was gonna take it super easy and super slow today and then I was like okay I feel this need to just like get something new like refreshing in my closet um, so I stopped by Topshop and I actually got two shirts I noticed in California I wear a lot of shirts because it's like hot and dry but then it also just gets chilly or I am chilly all the time and I wanted to add a little bit of color so I got this really cute yellow like kind of pastel shirt and then i also got it in this color brown and i thought it was really really cute also at top shop this cute little dress because i kind of get into the europe mood it's kind of like knitted and i don't know it just like fit it really cute and then i went by anthropology I got myself a little bowl 
to wash berries and to store them because every time I use a strainer it just gets messy and then I need to pour it in another bowl and it's more dishes. So now I just have one bowl and then I wash all my berries in there. How cute! I love it. And then I also got some heels. I don't know what it is. Unisa. Just super simple. I thought it would be nice because I realized I don't really have a lot of simple like black sandals. I know, right? I can't believe it. Um, for summer dresses and stuff. Yeah, and that was it. I literally popped in like two stores. Um, I'm going to make some dinner soon. Okay, hey. Let's wear a very dirty t shirt. Um, I'm gonna make some dinner soon. That's my Sunday. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's lazy Sunday video. I am going to take off my makeup and get ready for the night soon so another very exciting update is that i am finally launching my own fitness and food platform in early july so that's like in well three weeks i will be starting with uh, workout videos like most of the pilates programs and then after i will be adding on recipes and meal plans and all of that so that's gonna be really exciting i'm going to spoil the name for you because i've been working for so so long and i can finally announce that soul sync body sync your body sync your mind is like the most important things and yeah it's gonna be soul sync body so definitely stay tuned follow me on instagram for all latest updates and hopefully i will see you guys there as well and don't forget to subscribe here and I'll see you guys very soon.